Welcome to this week's WTOL 11 Weather Impact. I'm meteorologist Matt Willoughby, and this week we're breaking down something a little different and something you surely will like to see as you go throughout the next couple of months. So this week we are breaking down all things astronomical and at least the top astronom astronomical events happening in the month of November and December. And I promise you there is quite a lot you will be able to see as you go throughout the next couple of months and throughout the rest of the year. So when we talk about at least those moon phases, is going into November. Well, we'll have a new moon. Just saw that on November 1st, but the first half moon will be right around November 9th and the first full moon of the month. And the only one will be on at least November 15th, and it will surely be a bright sight to see. But also we do have some meteor showers. We do have at least the Northern Torrids meteor shower that will be happening uh, Monday and Tuesday coming up for November 11th through the 12th and won't be seeing as much meteors. This will only be about up to five meteors per hour. We're expecting some partly cloudy skies and temperatures into the lower 40s. So you have to look at least to the east or east southeast sky to see some of those meteors that we'll likely see. So that's about five uh, per hour. But also we have that full beaver moon that will be on November 15th and that will appear for one full day. Uh, and this was the only November full moon that we will see. So you do see that at least on November 15th. So if you are looking up at the sky on that day, yeah, you will see that full beaver moon. Also, we have another meteor shower happening in the month of November. Now this one you may see even more. This is one of the more popular ones we see and that's that uh, Leonid a meteor shower and we can also see up to 100 meteors per hour and that will happen November 16th through the 17th. So of course we'll still see that weather around partly cloudy or mostly clear, but of course that could change as we go throughout the next couple of weeks as we are a little bit further out with that weather uh, uh, at least for the overnight hours on November 16th through the 17th. So 100 meters per hour is really going to be a fantastic sight to at least get out just after midnight to see some of those meteors passing as we go towards the later part of November. Also, what about those planets? You always got to talk about the planets when we talk about astronomical events happening and that uh, planet of Jupiter will in fact be visible throughout the month as well. Uh, we did, did do some research on this as well and did see uh, some other planets will be possible and will be visible. But when it comes to the best viewing site, Jupiter it came up on the top of that list. So the view times is going to be mostly a nighttime and at least until sunrise the next day. So if you go towards the nighttime just after midnight and just before sunrise with a telescope, you will be able to see the planet of Jupiter. Now, what about December? I said we are breaking down the ones in November, but also we're not going to leave you hanging here. We do all have some top astronomical events that will be happening in the month of December as well. And to start it off for you, we do have that December full moon, and this is also known as the cold moon. This will also appear for one day, and that will be on December 15th at 4.02, and will last a full day as we head towards the full day of December 15th, and likely ending the next day on December 16th. And this will be the last full moon of 2024 before we restart that cycle back into January. But also we have more, meteor showers on the way for December. Man, we are really having some treats out there as we go throughout the next couple of months. So this meteor shower will be the Geminids meteor shower and this peak will be Thursday and Friday of December 12th and 13th and we'll likely see up to 50 meteors per hour and you'll likely see that in the northeast to east sky. So this is one of the things you'll have really have to pay attention to whether you are looking towards each sky to see those meteors. And they'll be quick as well. So whether you're using a telescope or the naked eye, it will be best to at least go to areas that don't have as much light. So very rural areas that are dark will be the best chance for you to view a lot of these meteor showers we do have, not only for November, but also December. And our last one for the year, the UCID to meteor shower will be again, again in December. And that peak will be Friday into Saturday for December 11th and 12th. And we'll see up to 50 meteor showers with this one as well. 
our last viewing planet for us, at least the best viewing planet. And I talked about this list we do have when it comes to different type of planets, but when it comes to Jupiter in November and Mars, this is really gonna be some of the best viewing planets we will see for the next couple of months. So in Mars, that planet will be visible at least into November and December, and you can check that out in the early morning hours. So I'm talking about 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and even 4 a.m. before that sunrise will be your best chance to view that gorgeous planet of Mars. So of course we have plenty of astronomical events that are happening not only this month, but also into next month for December. So make sure you get out during those late morning hours or at least those early morning hours and also those late night hours to view some of these amazing events that we will likely see as we go throughout the next couple of months. Also, we cannot rule out any Northern Lights events happening as well. We can't really forecast that, at least for now, but that also still could possibly happen as we go throughout the next two months and well into 2025. As always, I'm meteorologist Matt Willoughby, and thanks for watching this week's W2O 11 Weather Impact.